You're watching a video on attic insulation as part of the Home Energy Loss Prevention Services HELPS Educational Energy Efficiency Series, brought to you by your municipal utility and the Massachusetts Municipal Wholesale Electric Company, EMLEC. So here we are, we're up in the attic, um, looking at the, the insulation that's distributed around the attic. It originally looks like when this house was constructed, seeing the base layer of insulation, it uh, looks like there was probably six inches put down. We can see R19 on this piece of paper here. Um, so, and it looks like there's been some additional insulation, another maybe six inches or so added on top of this. Now, a couple of things I want to focus on up here. One, as we look around at the insulation, a lot of it has been moved over time and it could probably use some uh, redistributing just to get everything kind of evened out and leveled off. You know, here's a spot right here we're looking at. Uh, we can see that the insulation has been moved and I can actually see right down to the, uh, the ceiling space. So that's something uh, definitely, you know, we want to get corrected. Another thing I, I just want to point out here, which this home uh, may be a good candidate for, is Shrewsbury uh, Municipal Light Department has an incentive for um, insulation and air sealing and there are definitely some air sealing opportunities up here and where an insulation contractor could come in straighten the insulation out at the same time do the air sealing if we look down here we've got a, a hole uh, in the floor where air can transition through we've got uh, wiring coming up so again like i had mentioned downstairs uh, when we were discussing the uh, the door that leads to the garage this is also another area where air, warm air, is leaving our home and um, coming up into uh, the attic space. So we want to prevent that warm air from coming up into this space. The other thing, um, we're, we're standing right now filming this, it's a pull-down stairwell. Many people have pull-down stairwells in their home. Uh, there was no cover over this stairwell, so adding a, a cover over the stairwell is really a critical part because th this also becomes an access way for warm air to transition through. Just as a for instance, now this is a bigger space, this space up here, but an example that I know very well off the top of my head, if we had a 200 square foot room and we had a 5 foot opening, so we have, 200, we have 195 square feet of insulated area, 5 square feet with no insulation on it, by not having that five square feet in that smaller area, 200 square feet again, it reduces the overall effectiveness of this, the insulation by almost 50%. As we're looking around this attic space up here, we can see a lot of insulation moved and lifted. And although if we kind of glanced at this and we came up and looked at it, we'd say, oh, there's probably a good solid, you know, 9 to 10, 11, 12 inches up here. But as I look at it, I will look at the overall effectiveness of this insulation, given the way that it's been moved around over the years as being far less than what the R value would add up to. So that's why it would be important to get this, this uh, you know, relayed and, and fit back in. Also, I'm kind of looking at the um, area where one of the bathroom fans comes up through the into the attic space and you know looking around that vent fan coming up would also be another critical area for air sealing and then we've got also up in, in this space we have a an air handler for the air conditioning unit uh, so we've got grates that uh, go into the into the second floor ceiling that we would want to look at and make sure that those are all sealed up um, and then from the standpoint one of the things I always look at when I come up into an attic space is sort of the interior sheathing of the attic and I don't see any you know any issues with condensation that's really gone on up here over the years maybe a little bit on the nail heads uh, but nothing of any great significance um, it looks to be fairly well ventilated as well the biggest thing up here I can see is air sealing opportunities um, you know, getting the insulation uh, straightened out so you don't have it uh, you know in some spots where it's lifted or missing and then adding a cover over the top of the pull down stairwell thank you for watching this video on attic insulation to schedule your free home energy audit, please call 888-333-7525 and visit munihelps.org for information on rebates.